Alright, I think we're all ready. In today's video, we're going to be doing a comparison of all of these Google Assistant smart speakers. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. So the goal of today's video is to demonstrate the sound differences between all these Google Assistant compatible speakers so that you know which one is right for you. So let's first start off by talking about what devices I have in front of me. Over here, I have the Lenovo Smart Clock. Here I have a Google Home Mini. Here I have the Google Home. Here we have the JBL Link View. This is the JBL Link 20. This is the Google Nest Hub. This is the Lenovo Smart Display 10 inch version. This is the Google Nest Hub Max. And over here is the Google Home Max. So during this demonstration, I'm going to be playing one song and then throughout the video, I'm gonna change which uh, speaker is actually playing the song. So you'll see a little speaker icon at the top indicating it is the one that is playing. And so we're gonna do this with three different songs in three different rooms. This is a pretty small room, so maybe a bedroom size. And then we'll go to the kitchen and go to the playroom and so that you can hear how it sounds differently. And hopefully through my microphone and everything, it will come through. Uh, maybe using earphones might be the best for this demonstration. Now, one other thing that I did do is go through the settings to make sure all of these had the equalizer set at the same. So the bass and the treble is at zero on all the speakers. Let's get right into it.
joke. What type of shoes do frogs wear? Open toed. What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. Why won't the shrimp share its treasure? Because it's shellfish. What do clouds wear under their shorts? Thunder pants. Why was the cheetah so bad at hide and seek? No matter where she hid, she was always spotted. What type of shoes do frogs wear? Open toed. Why was the cheetah so bad at hide and seek? No matter where she hid, she was always spotted. Why shouldn't you write with a broken pencil? Because it's pointless. Why was the cheetah so bad at hide and seek? No matter where she hid, she was always spotted. All right, so the testing is complete. I wanna know what you think, so please let me know which one you pick as the best speaker in the comments below, but now I'm gonna give you my impressions, hearing them first person, what they sound like. So the first thing that I noticed is these smaller speakers. So the Lenovo Smart Clock, the Google Home Mini, and the Google Nest Hub all have a very similar sound where they don't have much bass. So if you're looking for any type of bass, I would recommend not getting one of those just because it's not going to do much for you. Um, the Lenovo Smart Clock for some reason was very quiet. Even if I had these on the same setting, like they were both set to five volume, the Smart Clock was much quieter. So the Google Home Mini overall is a really great speaker um, from what it has and there's rumors that one will be coming soon, but uh, right now that's a really nice speaker for the cost and for its size. So all of those were similar. Now moving on to the next set of speakers, we have the Google Home, which the Google Home was the very first Google smart speaker and it definitely set the standard for smart speakers. It has a really nice sound. When you pull this off, you can see that it has these three speakers down here and they just sound really Really good um, together. And then over here we have the JBL Link 20 and this actually put out some awesome bass and some really good sound. And the other big benefit of the JBL Link 20 is it is totally portable. It has a 10 hour battery life and it just sounds really good. You have the full Google Assistant and everything in there. So that works great. Um, both of these, whenever I turn them on, you could definitely tell that they had been turned on. They added a lot of bass to it. Now next moving on to the smart display. So we have the Lenovo Smart Display, the JBL Link View, and the Google Home Max. And whenever turning them all on, they definitely all offered some extra bass. I was thinking at first that the Smart Display didn't have much bass, but whenever I turned it on, you could definitely hear the difference. The JBL Link View definitely can push out some sound. It has probably one of the best uh, bass and sounds out of all of these. I am a little bit disappointed with the Google Nest Hub Max that it doesn't offer a little bit more of that sound. I would compare its sound very similar to what a Google Home sounds like. They were pretty close together. I just wish you had a little bit, little bit more bass coming out of this one. So I would say uh, this one would be third place and this is second and this is first. I don't know, maybe these are tied very close together. Uh, maybe a little better sound out of the Google Nest Hub Max, but this definitely takes the cake in the smart displays. And now moving on to the Google Home Max. Now this is a really unfair comparison between all of these. This speaker costs $400 and well, actually Google sent it to me. So thank you, Google. But uh, this speaker just outperformed everything. Whenever I turned it on, it took over everything that was there. I remember I had all the speakers on and I started turning them off one by one to see if I could hear a difference and I didn't hear anything, and then it, the only thing left on was the Google Home Max because it just took over everything, has an incredible bass, sounds so good. So if you're looking for the best Google Assistant smart speaker in sound, definitely check out a Google Home Max as it just is really awesome. So I hope this video was able to help you determine which Google Assistant smart speaker is right for you. There are really so many options all the way down from a 50 Google Home Mini to the 400 Google Home Max. So there's definitely something for everyone uh, depending on what you are looking for. Now, if you guys have any further questions about any of these speakers, please let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to see my other reviews and comparisons, make sure you check out the playlist up here. And if you wanna see just more things that you can do with the Google Assistant, check out the playlist down there. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.